you ready for the most epic adventure ever? Get on board the Rocky Railway. Railway. My name is Emily and I'm excited to be riding the rails with you this week. We'll start every day right here at Sing and Play Express. I'll help you sing, have fun, and celebrate Jesus' power. Let's start off with a song about Jesus' power pulling us through. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Imagining what it would be like to journey on a steam train through the wild, vast, beautiful Rocky Mountains. A long time ago, trains were the fastest way to travel when you had to go far or up a big hill. Not many people ride steam trains like this anymore. Steam trains get their power from the steam engine. Imagine a steam engine is a little bit like this tea kettle. When the water inside boils, it pushes steam through the hole and it whistles. Pretty cool, huh? Inventors figured out a way to capture steam and turn it into power. Enough power for a train to pull thousands and thousands of pounds over tall, rocky mountains. Trains have the power to cross miles and miles of deserts, carrying things to people who need them. This week, we'll discover a special kind of power that you and I have. We have Jesus' power right here, ready to help us do important things. Maybe when you think of power, you think of superheroes who have superpowers. 
Or maybe the word power makes you think of someone with huge muscles. Strong muscles and superpowers are things we usually think of when we hear about power. But God has more power than either of those. God has the power to create mountains and oceans just by speaking. God has the power to love and forgive and comfort and heal. God is even more powerful than death. Jesus is God's very own son, and he has all that power too. This week, we'll be talking about how we can trust Jesus' power to help us every single day. And later in the week, you'll hear about the life-saving power of Jesus' blood. Every day, we'll learn a Bible point, an important truth from the Bible to remember. Today, we'll explore how Jesus' power helps us do hard things. That's our Bible point. Today, whenever you hear someone say, Jesus' power helps us do hard things, say, trust Jesus. We need to hang on to Jesus' power to pull through when things get tough. The Bible says, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Christ is another name for Jesus. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. He gives us the strength we need to power through sadness or confusion or mad feelings. Let's sing a song about Jesus' awesome power. to know surprising Bible memory buddies who will help us remember our Bible points. All our buddies are animals that you could find somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. Let's take a look. Hey there, friends. Glad you're all on board for a rambunctious week of faith and fun at Rocky Railway. I'm Ramsey, a bighorn sheep. Um, can you guess why? <laughs> okay, 
that was too easy. Check out these cool, curvy horns God gave me. Ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds. That's as much as some of our littlest preschool buddies. Wow! My horns have to be tough because we male sheep use them to keep other rams out of our territory. People who study rams say we can run into each other at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Bam! You can hear that sound for miles! Me and my herd hang out all over the majestic, massive Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains rock! If you head up to find me, strap on your hiking boots. Sometimes my herd grazes in an alpine meadow. Cause that's where the good stuff is. Mm, wow, good. But the meadow makes us an easy target for predators. So we also like to climb way up those crazy cliffs. We sheep like it steep. Me and my family can hang out on a little teeny tiny ledge that's only a few inches wide. Animals like bears or coyotes can't bother us here. Whew! And check out the view! God made us just right for staying safe in those hard, rocky places. My hooves are split and have a rough skin on the bottom that grips tight to the rugged rocks. Plus, I've got excellent eyesight. No glasses for me! It may sound like climbing these cliffs and balancing on jagged ledges is hard to do, but God has given me everything I need to live here. Find food and keep my family safe. I've heard that you sometimes have to do hard things too. When there's a bully at school, maybe you feel like you're in a rough, rocky place. You may not be balanced on a cliff ledge like me, but maybe you have to balance homework, chores, sports, music, and friendships. That sounds hard. Hmm, maybe coming here today and making new friends even feels like a hard thing for you. But did you know you don't face those hard things alone? No way! Jesus is right beside you. Yep, even right now. He gives you his power to climb through those mountains of worry and get through any rough stuff you gotta do. The Bible powers you up with this truth. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. That means you don't have to have your own power to do hard things. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. When you see Ramsey, remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. I've heard some commotion around the rail yard about a rock slide last night. Maybe we can find someone around here who can tell us what happened. Oh, maybe this guy can help. Excuse me, sir, do you work here? Do I work here? Friend, I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. In fact, I don't just work on trains, I drive the trains. The name's Cam Track. I'm an engineer on the railroad here. <laughs> wow, with a name like Cam Track, you must really love trains. When you know these trains as well as I do, they become a part of you. Wow, that's <clears throat> deep. But uh, maybe you can help us. My friends and I heard something about a rock slide. Yeah, you heard right. Some huge boulders rolled down the mountain last night, landed right here on the track. Wow, that could really cause some problems. It can. In fact, uh, my crew and I were supposed to take the engine down uh, the mountain this morning. Good thing I'm here to take care of it. Oh. You really think you're strong enough to lift a massive boulder? I, I, I don't think. I know. Okay. Well, why don't you warm up on that rock over there? Ah, easy peasy. All right, you might want to stand back. Because in case this thing goes flying. Here we go. It's just too hard. I, I can't do it. Oh, well, Cam, it's funny you should mention that because today we're learning about how Jesus helps us do hard things. It might be something hard like taking a big test at school or maybe standing up to a bully or saying goodbye to a friend who moves really far away. How's she doing this? I told you, I, I don't know. I can't carry all this. Well, none of us are strong enough to carry all that tough stuff on our own, but there is someone who is. 
Jesus. Even when life is super tough, Jesus is always there to lighten the load. Well, this Jesus guy sounds like a good guy to be friends with. Well, I, I gotta figure out how to move those boulders off the track. Maybe Jesus can let me know what to do. Well, tell you what, as soon as my friends and I are done here, we'll come back and see if we can figure something out together. All right, well, bye friends. Hi kids, I'm Debbie. I'm so glad you're here today with us at Rocky Railway VBS. Today, we're gonna to be exploring a totally true Bible story from the book of Acts in chapter nine. When people come to see me, I want them to be comfortable. And one way that happens is for guests to get to know one another. So I wanna ask you a question. Can you think of something that's easy for you? Maybe it's hard for other kids, like dribbling a basketball, but for you it's easy. Maybe it's music or math. For me, it's reading. It's very easy and I love it. So take a moment now and talk to your family members about something that comes easy to you. Did you think of something? Good. Now, I want you to think about something that's hard for you to do. Take a about 30 seconds to talk about that. Well, we all have things that are hard for us to do, jobs that seem too big to do, or stuff that seems too complicated to even try. When you run into something like that, remember this, Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. I can remember a time I had something hard to do. It was when I was, oh, hi, Ananias. What are you doing? What does it look like? I'm hiding. From who? Everyone. Well, that's not gonna work. Why don't you come out here and tell me what's going on? Oh, by the way, Ananias, I want you to meet my new friends. Meet my friend, Ananias. Hi, everyone. I don't know. Watching online. So why exactly are you hiding? It's Saul. He's here in Damascus, and he's arresting anyone who loves Jesus. And I love Jesus. Oh, I guess you... He's thrown lots of Jesus' friends into prison, and he's here in Damascus. So, I guess you haven't heard... About how Jesus appeared to Saul, and how bright light shone on Saul, and Saul heard Jesus' voice, and then how Saul fell on the ground, and how his buddies led him here to Damascus? Yeah. I heard all that. So why are you hiding and why are you wearing that funny mustache? It's a disguise. Well, it's not working Ow. very well. Ow, thanks. Now you've blown my cover. Well, trust me, it wasn't working. Well, God came to me in a vision this morning and told me I should go to Straight Street and when I got there to ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. And then I should place my hands on Saul and pray for him, so Saul will be able to see again. So, why are you here instead of doing what God asked you to do? Because when Saul is able to see, guess who he's going to see? Me. And Saul arrest Christ arrests Christians and throws them into jail. <clears throat> he throws rocks like these at Christians. He locks Christians up in chains like these. And... I don't know what he's going to do with this, but I do not want to find out. Why is God asking me to do such hard things? Well, maybe my new friends know something that you should know. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Okay, but this is a really hard thing. A super hard thing. I'm, I'm afraid, and I'm not sure I can do it. Have you ever had something hard to do, and you weren't sure you could do it? Well, I have, and I think my friends at home have too. As a matter of fact, we were just talking about it. So, you know, it's easy to talk about trusting Jesus, but what does it really feel like to trust him? So I want you to try something. So Ananias, come over here, and I'm going to stand right next to you. You don't have to worry, but I'm going to ask you to do something. I want you to stand on one leg, and then I want you to close your eyes. Okay, well that might have been a little bit hard and maybe a little bit scary. And so, um, how are you, is that how you're feeling about going to see Saul? Yes, exactly. Okay, well, let's pause for a moment. I wanna give you guys at home a chance 
to do that at home. So have somebody in the room stand next to you and then I want you to stand on one leg and close your eyes. Go. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well, earlier we talked about some things that you find hard to do, like maybe math or somersaults. But I'm wondering if there's something hard happening in your life right now. Maybe you're worried about heading back to school after being closed for so long. Or you've had a fight with a friend and you wonder if you'll ever be friends again. Well, right now I want you to pick up your Tracking with Jesus Bible book and I want you to turn to page six and seven. And I want you to look at that picture and grab a piece of paper and draw the hard thing that's happened to you and then tape it over the thought bubble above Saul. So, you know what God has asked you to do and you know you're not alone, that we've all had hard things to do and you know Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Are you ready? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Well, would you feel better if I pray for you? You know, prayer is just talking to God. Can I talk to God and ask him to give you the courage to do what he has asked you to do? Yeah. Well, dear God, we pray that you give Ananias the courage to do what you've asked him to do and to face the hard things. Thank you that you are with us to do those hard things. I don't need to worry or be afraid because Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Goodbye. Bye, Ananias. So, hey, kids. Now I have someone else for you to meet. His name is Dominic. My name is Dominic, and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies, but one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun. And I also get to build character and build physical strength. Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus, he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. There was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm right here, right here. Boom. Just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train, and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm going to break this board. It's an obstacle in my way, and let me push through it. And ha! I broke it. Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day 
because I was afraid it wasn't going to pass, and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm going to pass this, and I didn't. I failed, and I failed, and I failed. Finally got to the last day that I could possibly test, and I said, this isn't going to be like those last times. I am going to pass it. I said, you know what, Jesus, Jesus can help me get through this. I'm just going to pray to him today. I am going to pass the test tomorrow. And I did. In the Bible, in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13, it says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. My three-day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and he'll help you. Pray to God and he can get you through anything. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Well, kids, I hope you had fun today at Rocky Railway VBS. Oh, hi, Ananias. Whew, I'm just back from seeing Saul. I thought you were too afraid to go see Saul. I was, but my friends here reminded me that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. So what happened? Well, I found the house, and I went in, and there he was, Saul. He hadn't eaten for three days, but he was still scary. What did you do? I said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road sent me so you can get your sight back and, he, and be filled with the Holy Spirit. I put my hands on his shoulders and bam, these weird scaly things came off his eyes. That's so incredible. I know, then he, wa then he was baptized and had something to eat. And I came here to let you all know how it turned out. Well, it sounds like God has big plans for Saul. Just like he has big plans for everyone here. And, he, and we can do it, too. Because Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Well, I have to run. Thanks for your help. Bye. Goodbye. Welcome to Imagination Station. I'm so glad you're here. 
I can't wait to see what incredible things we'll discover about Jesus's power this week. We're gonna have so much fun together. But before we get started, I need to ask you something. Who brought their imagination today? I was worried you might forget your imagination since this is the first day of EBS. So I was talking to my friend, Ramsey. I think you met my friend Ramsey earlier, right? Well, Ramsey is a bighorn sheep, and he told me that him and his friends love living in the Rocky Mountains. The mountains are so beautiful, and the scenery is so spectacular. But Ramsey said that sometimes it's kind of hard to live in the mountains, especially in the winter when it snows. That's when Ramsey's sure-footed feet come in handy. Ramsey's feet help him do hard things, like walk on slippery, snowy mountains. Even when it snows, Ramsey knows that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! There! That's better! I think your imaginations are up and running now. And that's a good thing, because each day at Imagination Station, you'll get to be part of fun activities and experiments that help us discover more about Jesus's power. And you'll get to play with an awesome, sciencey fun gizmo every day. We'll get to our first activity in a minute. But first, I have another question for you. How long do you think it takes a baby bighorn sheep to be able to walk and climb as well as its mother? Does it take six weeks or one day? Think about that and decide on your answer. Okay, I need a loud drum roll before I reveal the answer. Make a drum roll with me. And the answer is, a baby bighorn can walk and climb as well as its mother within just one day. Imagine that. Let's get back on track. Grab some paper and a marker to make your own train tracks. Draw a train track from one end of the paper to the other. You can draw mountains and trees, streams if you want, and curve it through the Rocky Mountains. You can even add fun stickers if you have some. I'll give you a moment, have fun. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. 
trust Jesus. You know, sometimes we all have to do hard things, and we may not understand why. We may not be able to control what's happening. Our lives seem to be going in all different directions. Let's see what that's like. This is my off-rail roller. Go ahead and grab your off-rail roller pieces and I'll lead you through how to put it together. To assemble your off-rail roller, first lay out all of the pieces. You should have two black circular pieces. One has a flat side, the other has a bump in the middle. You'll have two straws, a long straw and a short straw, a rubber band and a paper clip from home. The first step is to thread the rubber band through the paper clip. This paper clip is going to act as a needle. It should look like this. Take the black piece with the bump on the outside and using the paper clip, thread the rubber band through the hole. You should have the rubber bands coming out one side and a paper clip coming out the other. Grab your large straw and pull it through the rubber band. Using the paper clip, pull until the straw is flat against the outside and stays in place. Then take the other black piece, the flat circle. Use the paper clip to thread again through the hole. Push the two black pieces together until they snap in the middle. Then pull the paper clip and the rubber band apart. Be sure to keep one finger in the rubber band so you can thread the short straw. When you're finished, it should look just like this, a long straw on the side with a bump and a short straw on the flat side. Now pick up your off-rail roller, holding the short side in your hand, wind the long straw. Do it several times. The more you wind it, the longer it will go. And we're off the rails. Take a few minutes and experiment with your off-rail roller. You might want to try it on some different surfaces. You could even try to keep it on your paper track. After a few minutes, you'll hear the train whistle when it's time to come back. Have fun!
Take your off-wheel roller and put it inside a baggie. If you happen to have a Try This at Home sticker, it will help you remember today's Bible point that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! All right, that's it for today. We'll see you back again next time at Imagination Station. Well, hello, and welcome to our very first Rocky Wrap-Up. I'm Mr. E, and each day we'll wrap up our tremendous trip together on the tracks with songs, smiles, and surprises every day at Rocky Rack-Up. It's Rocky Wrap-Up, not Rack-Up. Every day at Rocky Wrap-Up will be delightfully different. Make sure your crew rolls right into the station on time. Here we go. Oh boy, here's Ramsey. Ramsey's a big horned sheep and he is made to climb. He looks like he could climb anything with those big legs and he's got his big horns on the top there. And Ramsey tells us a lot about strength. So Ramsey, when I see that, I think of our, when I see Ramsey, I think about our verse for today, Philippians 4.13, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me straight. So Ramsey is a good way to remember that verse. Philippians 4.13, for I can do anything through Christ who gives me strength. So if you're getting a little uh, memory buddy here like Ramsey and you're getting a carabiner or have one that you can do to it, you can just add that on there. I heard there's even, come on now, this has got to work. I've heard there's even a, a place you can go online to get your parents to help you. You might be able to find some games using some of our memory buddies for this week. But today's is Ramsey from Philippians 4.13. I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. God's power helps us do hard things. You know, train crews have challenging jobs full of hard things every day to do, like haul cargo. They got to keep passengers safe. Oh man, they got to fix broken trains. That happens. And of course, they've got to get everyone to their destination on time. I found a tricky train track activity to see how challenging it is to work with tracks and trains and all that kind of stuff. Let's try it together. I wonder if it'll be easy or hard to do. Do you have one of these? Look around if you have one of these. Now, what's cool about it is it's paper. Well, you've got paper at your house somewhere. And then it's got uh, three sets of train tracks that I want you to uh, either observe, notice, or you could uh, also just draw them on there. So you have three sets of train tracks. You got that? I'll give you a second here. Da, 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 da. Hope you got your... Okay, here's the challenge. Now, we're going to grab two corners and two corners only of our piece of paper. And we're going to tear it so that we get three sets of three tracks. All right, tearing paper, that's pretty hard, but God helps us do hard things. But that's not very hard. It's all right, we're gonna try it. Here we go, grab it by the corners. One, two, three. Oh, mine tore but it didn't tear where I wanted it to. I wanted it to tear there, and I wanted it to tear there so I can put together and make one big long track. Oh, I know, I'll turn it around this way. I'll try it again. I'm gonna tear it right where I want it to tear. Wow, man, this isn't working out at all. Now I've got a bunch of ripped up corners and it's not working. Hmm, well, not that I wanna waste paper, but uh, I've got a little trick for you. Let's see if this works for you. Let's see if I can do it on the first take. <laughs> so we're going to grab our paper, a new one. I've got a new one. You might have to use your old one. Hopefully you got another one around the house somewhere. And I'm not going to just pull from the corners. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull this one this way. I'm going to pull this one this way. But then I'm going to put my mouth right over here like that. I'm going to hold it right in the middle. And I'm going to try to tear it now. Hey, well that, that worked pretty good. I could put that track to there and that this track over here to there. I 
think I've got the solution. Who knew? Put the paper in your mouth. But I mean, okay, moms and dads, don't try this at home. But I'll tell you what, that worked out pretty well. With a little extra thought and a little strategy, sometimes we can do really hard things. Now, tearing paper isn't that hard. God will help us do a lot harder things than that. But you know what? It's okay to take some advice sometimes, look around to people you trust, and maybe they'll give you the tip you need to pull something off like that. Boy, that was tricky. So now you know how to tear a piece of paper into three parts at the same time. You use your mouth. Hmm. Well, makes a point anyway. Well, if you learned your memory verse, you might have gotten Ramsey here. He reminds us that Jesus' power helps us do hard things, for I can do anything through Christ who gives me strength. That's from Philippians 4, 13. So, got that. Now, did you get this gift? This is another kind of cool one, too. You know, Ananias had to trust Jesus. We learned that in that Bible story. But you know what? We can watch for ways that God is at work all around us all the time. And this little uh, bracelet helps us to look for that. Watch for God. I think we're not going to see maybe God come down out of the heavens, although that would be cool. But we might just see something God is doing. Uh, something in our lives that we can say, wow, God is helping me there. God is doing that with me and helping me. So that's kind of cool. Look for that. Well, we're friends with Jesus, and he takes us to incredible places and shows us unbelievable things. God is right here with us always. Today, you got that gift to help you remember that. Look for evidence that God is all around you. God's sightings help us watch for Jesus' awesome power in everyday life. A God sighting could be a prayer, maybe a hug from a parent, especially when you needed it. Just the sunshine, sometimes just a kind word from a friend. Well, before we say goodbye, I just wanted to thank you for coming to the first day of Rocky Railway. Thanks for celebrating Jesus' power with us. I can't wait until tomorrow for another day of adventure, discovery, and excitement with you all. Thanks for tuning in. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all.